Hey everyone, this is John Hood and welcome to 5 Minute Friday, where I get to show you lots of cool things about Microsoft Teams. Today, I'm going to talk all about chat files in Microsoft Teams. How to manage them, how to share them, where they live, and the best method to use. Here I've been chatting with Richard. I'm asking him to proofread one of my documents. Before I share it, I'd like to point out this tab right here, which is called Files. This is a document that I shared with him back in May. Using this Files tab is a quick and easy way to access those files that you've shared without having to scroll through your chat. I'll talk more about these files in just a minute. So I'm going to click here on Chat, then click down here on the paperclip. To attach a file, I have two choices. I can choose to share an already existing file from my OneDrive. So that means if I've been storing my document on OneDrive the whole time and working on it, and I just want to share it with Richard, instead of emailing it to him, I'm just going to choose OneDrive, have a little window inside my OneDrive, then find the document that I want. Then I'll choose Share. I can type a message and then click here to send, which is a little paper airplane. There we go, I've just shared it with Richard. This is what it looks like from his perspective. There's my message, and there's a link to the file. All he has to do is click, and he can now view and edit the document. And from my side of the chat, I can also click and be able to work on that same file. I can even see right here where Richard has clicked, and any changes that he makes will occur in real time. Now if we go to that Files tab, we can see the Teams Chat Files blog right there, and his view will be identical. I'm going to go back to Chat, but this time I'm going to click on the paperclip and choose to upload from my computer. Here is an example of that document stored on my desktop. Even though it has the same file name, it's actually a different file that I don't have stored in the cloud. In order to share it, select the file and choose Open. It's just uploaded and I'll choose Send. And just like the other method, Richard has access to the file. However, I just shared two files that have the same name. And if we check out the files, we can even see it listed twice. Back to my OneDrive, let me just clarify why that happens. And why it's a best practice to pick one or the other. The first time I shared, I selected the OneDrive choice. That means a document already existed on my OneDrive. Basically, by hitting send, I assigned view and edit permissions to that document. But the second time, I took a file that was on my computer and attached it to the chat conversation. And when you do that, it's saved on a special folder on your OneDrive called Microsoft Teams Chat Files. There's the document with the same name. So now we have two files that look the same, but they're not. Any updates or changes will be independent. There are a few things you'll need to consider. Again, if the file already exists, attach and share using OneDrive. The file already lives in the cloud, and you're basically sharing a link. If you upload from your computer, you really do upload a file to your OneDrive. The thing is, it gets put in a folder called Microsoft Teams Chat Files. Now let's say I try to upload that file again. I get this notification, this file already exists, a file with this name already exists in this folder. What would you like to do? I could cancel, rename it, and upload it again. I can keep both. We could replace it and save over the one that already lives in that folder. Remember, this is the chat files folder. If somebody does this by mistake, what happens is it'll make that the newest version of the document. So if it was done in error, you can always revert back to how it was. The other choice is to keep both. And all it does is append the file name with a number. And now it's a cloud document. We can share and collaborate, and I can always individually manage permissions for that file. Let's go back to the Files tab. From here I can share, just like in the chat, from my OneDrive or from my computer. I can also drag and drop files here. Let's say I want to share this document with Richard and I just drop it into the files. Even though this file didn't show up in the list, a file with this name already exists in the folder. And the reason behind that is that all of your chat files go into one folder. And when you send to that individual or whoever's in the group chat, you're assigning them permissions to the file. So all these chat files are in one private folder where you can assign individual permissions to each file. So this is letting me know that I'm sharing the file with someone else in a different chat. So I can either cancel, keep both, or replace. Now if I go back to my OneDrive, 
I can find that file with the same name and check and see who I've shared it with. It looks like I've shared it with Samantha, probably in a chat. Now the easiest way is to click here, then grant access. Then he'll get an email letting him know that you've shared the file with him. But I can also get it to him by copying the link and then just paste it in the chat. But when you share files that way, they don't show up in this list. Let's say I don't want to share these anymore. You would think that by clicking here there'd be a delete choice, but there's not, so you have to go to chat. There's no way to actually delete the file from here. You'll need to click here and delete the message. Now when we go back to files, they're gone. The thing is, they actually still have permission, even though it appears to be gone. Here within Richard's OneDrive, he could go to the shared folder and the shared with me tab and still have access to it, again even though it's not showing up in Teams. I'll need to go back to my OneDrive, go in that Microsoft Teams chat files folder, click here to manage access, and either stop sharing entirely or stop sharing individually. Here's something to watch out for. My OneDrive documents are synced onto my PC. Before, I was navigating out, finding the document, and then uploading it. But if I go to my synced folder, this is going to behave a little bit differently. Here's the file I've been using that lives on my OneDrive. Again, it's synced with my PC, so any changes I make will be reflected on that one version. But if I were to upload the file from here, it would re-upload it to the Microsoft Teams chat files folder. So if you're going to share a OneDrive file, the best practice is to do so right from here. And if you do upload files from your computer, make sure that you're not re-uploading already existing documents. That was a pretty deep dive into chat files, but remember, it's actually really easy. We're chatting and I want to share a document. It's one that I'm already using that's on my OneDrive. So I'll just click, access my OneDrive, find the document, and share it. If it's a file that's on my PC and not yet in the cloud, in order to share it, I have to put it in the cloud. So I'll upload from my computer and upload the file to my Microsoft Teams chat files folder on my OneDrive. And that is how to share and manage files in Microsoft Teams chat. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more quick tips on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. If you'd like to see more in-depth videos or perhaps would like customized training on Microsoft 365 applications, please check out our website at www.knowledgewave.com. The KnowledgeWave Learning site offers access to thousands of on-demand videos and trainings that are constantly updated to address all of the newest features that Microsoft has to offer. Visit our site or call us today to learn more.